You know, I used to spend a great deal of time trying to impress others. I still, I guess I still try to do that. Um, but, you know, I'm, I've come to realize that man, we don't know anything. Like, nobody really knows at that much. And as you kind of get that idea, um, you begin to realize, like, why am I actually paying attention to everybody again? Why am I stressing them and stressing out and really focusing on um, that they're like somehow knowledgeable, more knowledgeable than me and all of that kind of stuff and being freaked out about it? You begin to realize that, man, none of us really are, um, really know, <laughs> you know, like, we're all just kind of figuring it out as we go anyways. Um, I don't know. But, you know, my point is, is... I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Um, and if somebody else tells you that they think they know what they're doing, they don't know what the heck that they're doing either. And they just simply have this, they're projecting this air of confidence because that they're insecure with whatever, you know. I think about this a lot um in that you know for example coaches or uh you know managers and stuff that sort of tell you this is the way you do it um they don't know what they're talking about <laughs> they really don't and you know they really need to take a step back and think about like wait a minute um we're figuring this out and what matters is not this is the way that you do it but just putting in that effort and continuing to go at this, right? Like, I know that there are um, tips and tricks and all of those kind of things to speed things up and to help out. But, man, in reality, a lot of this is just learnt, and it's just through time and effort, and you get that sort of tacit feel of how to do something, right? Like, you kind of get a, a sense of it rather than somebody telling you about, you know, how to actually do this. And it's just really the way that you get that sort of tacit feel with anything. It's just time and effort, just time and time and time. And, you know, putting in a lot of effort over and over and over again um, so that you can actually uh, get, you know, get to the point of where you wanted to go. Right, and as you do that, as you sort of put in that time and effort, um, you really kind of get a sense of it, right? So it's, it's right now, you know, building the reciprocity project. I, um, you know, I kind of have a sense of where I want to take the platform, um, and I want to add more AI stuff at this point um, so that it becomes a lot easier to use and we can use some more machine stuff um, I want to continue to build these things out, but I don't really have a good sense of what to add next. I think I want, I, I think I know what I want to add, um, but, you know, we're still working this out, right? Um, we're still putting one step ahead of each other. And, and as you sort of add things and take away things, um, you get a sense of what works and what doesn't work. Um, and you really are just kind of moving forward. But the only way that you could do that is keep taking those steps forward, right? Like that's the only way you're gonna get a sense of what actually works and what doesn't work. I think we get so caught up in under trying to like know what we're doing and this is what we want to do, but we're kind of grappling towards things, right? And everything, it doesn't matter we're all living our own life the first time, right? Like, as you're doing this, and this is the first time that you've listened to this, this is the first time I've ever said anything about this, right? Like, um, you have to realize that, that we're all kind of bumbling through these things. And as you're bumbling through and trying to make sense of what's going on, um, you got to take a step back and say, hey, you know what? Um, if it doesn't work out the first time, that's okay. We'll just keep going at it. We'll we'll work at something else. We'll keep pushing forward at it. And and as you have that sort of 
belief it sort of removes a lot of like oh this is this is right and this is wrong or you know this is problematic or whatever like it removes a lot of the tension out of it when you take a step back and say oh, no, nobody really knows what the heck they're doing um and and it really kind of helps you a lot to to know about this right like really take take this down and look at um any expert in any area the only thing that they've done differently is just spent a lot of time into it um they keep putting in the time putting in the time putting in the time and everybody else is um doing the same thing they just put in the time and effort um and and every once in a while they bump into somebody that helps them out and says hey why don't you do this why don't you do that and that helps um obviously but a huge chunk of it is just putting in the time time and effort over and over and over again and everybody else that tells you otherwise man um they really don't don't understand that um, everybody is making it up so i encourage you to do that keep putting in the time and effort quit worrying about whether you're right and wrong and all of that kind of stuff um, just put in the effort uh, and and good things are going to come as you do that so that's all i wanted to say is I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Um, I've been doing this for a long time and I still don't know what the heck I'm doing. So don't get caught up with like, oh, everybody, this person knows what they're doing. That person knows what they're doing. And it, it removes a lot of the like stupid behaviors everybody does. If you simply just say, I don't know, um, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt a lot less and you're going to figure things out. So with that, Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.